Hello Superherd and welcome back to Splatoon 2 and today we're gonna see what the uh, kitty cats have to say, get advice. Hey Mao, do you have any ability chunks yet? When you scrub gear or reallocate abilities, the original abilities become ability chunks. Really? Ability chunks don't do much by themselves, but you can combine them to make abilities on demand. And keep an eye out for a young urchin, for the young urchin lad, he knows just what to do with those ability chunks. So that's how you get ability chunks. Okay, let's go ahead and figure that out. Hey Jump. Now, I'm waiting for some orders from him, that'll be really exciting. But for right now, let's go ahead and scrub some slots. Psh, you've never had your gear scrubbed? Let me school you on this real quick. If you're not really feeling the abilities in a piece of your gear, and you can always scrub out the secondary abilities to start fresh and stay fresh. After scrubbing your gear, your gear is free to roll new abilities again by getting points in battle. Listen up, cause this is important. The abilities you had in your slots before they got scrubbed will be given back to you as ability chunks. Get enough ability chunks and you'll be able to put whatever abilities you want in whatever gear you want. Got all that? Scrub your gear to get a fresh shirt to create the gear of your dreams. All right, then that sounds great to me. Let's go ahead and figure that out. What kind of gear do I want to scrub then? Hmm, probably something like, I don't know, I don't wanna scrub something like this that doesn't even have anything really worth the scrub. I, like, I like what I have here. What do I have here? This is quick super jump, ink saver main, and then swim see, sweep, speed up. Hmm, I think, I think we'll go with that. Oh, uh, maybe we should decide until we got a third one. Oof. Maybe we should, what about this one, huh? This has, actually, I'll clean this one up. This is 20,000, you know, dollar shoe. And it's free to do that, right? It is new chum. Oh yeah, the ability chunks came out in the wash, so to speak, so here you go, don't lose them. Interesting, so what else can we do? I might equip those shoes de then after this. Uh, Use ability sh chunks, increase slots. Yeah, how do I do this? Sorry chum, but I'm stupid busy right now. I still don't understand why I can't do that. Maybe I have to be a specific level? I'm gonna assume maybe that's the issue. Oh, that did cost coins. Maybe it cost me another 20,000. Oh, I had to rebuy the shoe then. Well, that sort of stinks, but hey, it was worth it. Uh, let's go ahead and equip those, and then we'll go ahead and check out what we're doing today. We are trying out another new weapon, because why not? Let's go ahead and equip these, the gray sea slug high tops. It's a mouthful, but it's worth it, because they're cool. <laughs> it's worth saying the mouthful as many times as I need to to get the message across that these are awesome shoes and fit well with my shirt. Let's get back in there. We gotta go here, and of course, like I said before. Now, I'm recording a bunch of episodes of Splatoon on the same day, so I can't go and buy new clothing because we've already seen it all, and I've already bought what I like. What do we wanna buy today? We got lots to choose from, and they're all pretty darn expensive. But I think, I just think, we should probably go ahead and do mm, either the Splatter Shop Pro or the Aerospray MG. This has a high fire rate damage, is very low, but there is, oh yeah, that's right, I gotta charge my battery soon. I don't know when that's gonna die, that just might die in the middle of the video. Let's do this. Splash Pro has some good range. That's what I want to sort of try in the response to the uh, Splat Delise. Let's give it a shot. Thank you. I'll now give it a good home. Uh, I know you'll give it a good home. Remember, simply press square. Interesting, a square plus. What am I talking about? The Splattershot Pro was developed for more advanced users by the team behind the Splattershot. Use a point sensor to reveal opponents and then blast them with incredible precision and range of the main weapon. Its fire rate and ink efficiently, and efficiently aren't the best, or efficiency aren't the best, but you can cover your teammates with an ink storm. I'd recommend this weapon to players who have not, who have a lot of faith in their accuracy and positioning. I feel like it's gonna work better for me than the spot dualies. We have some new stuff to try out in it too, so that'll be a lot of fun. So let's just go ahead and get started with it back online. But hey, I wanted to do something else really quick while we do that. And that would be, of course, grabbing a bite to eat. Because we haven't done this before. Let's crack and squiddle. We have a good you know, chunk of tickets. Let's go ahead and increase our battle cash, especially since I need some of that. <laughs> I love how it says, yum, 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 base squiddle. Thanks, dude. I don't know how you keep money to stay afloat because all you take is tickets and not real money. But hey, I get money out of it, so I'm gonna gladly take it. We only have 75,000 coins now. Let's get ourselves back up to 100,000. So we do still have the same two maps as last time, but we're gonna have a totally different experience because it's a totally different weapon. So hopefully that works out pretty well for us. Things are looking good, ready? Go. Okay, I'm going. So yeah, the range on this thing is insane. The damage is what's low because the fire rate's actually, and the fire rate's a little slow. But I'm just gonna keep the range as I can, get as far out there as I can. Wow, that is a weird bomb. I forget what that does already. I think what it does is you can just sort of spot other enemies' locations when you get them in that bomb. 
something like that. Hey, 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 hey. Oh gosh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> so they had the Jet Squelcher, which we've tried in Salmon Run event. Very weird one. Let's try to get across to here. But I'm glad we're back with these shoes. I wanna see what upgrades we get for them now that we have uh, scrubbed them. That's an interesting concept. Like the ability chunks in this thing are very interesting. I'm gonna have to scrub a lot of weapons and just sort of on routine them so that I can earn up more and more of it. Maybe for like abilities or like items I don't really use anymore, like I've gotten better ones, I can scrub the old ones. That might be a good strategy. So far we're doing great with splatting. So what does that do for me? Yeah, I can see them even when they're out of that. So I have a farther range than you do, buddy, so I should be able to keep up with you if I wasn't awful at the game. But guess who's awful at the game? Okay, you're over there and didn't even have to deal with you. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our bomb right here. I think it's gonna be a good location for it. It's gonna start raining down on those guys, just like that, and then go for it. That was good, that's our first plant. Nice. So I like this weapon already, because we can just cover tons of turf. We're already at 300 points. We still have a minute and something left. And I can keep my distance while doing it like this. And then like, you're not gonna be able to get me. So I really just wanna focus probably on ink consumption gear. I can only imagine would be pretty good. Okay, there's somebody up there. I gotta be careful. Let's throw that bomb up there. And now I'll know exactly where they are at any given point in time. And I could try to hit them a little bit. I don't think I can from this angle, but I almost did. Ooh, boy. That was a good bomb by my teammate over there. Oh, okay, that was a good bomb by them. But I got another spot. This is actually really cool. I like this weapon. It's good to say that right out of the bat because all the weapon showcases I've done for the most part have been like, I don't know how I feel about this. This one's really good. So I like it a lot. Definitely on a map like this where we can just sort of shoot straight ahead and not have to worry about it too, too much. Let's throw that up there. I don't think there's anybody up there. It doesn't look like it. We are just holding them back so badly. That is, I feel so bad. Gotcha. So there's that. I'm gonna throw this just right, right here because you know, why not? All right, I might die. Yep, I died there. That was totally me. They had like a crazy uphill advantage and they had the Jet Squelcher, which has as much range as you would expect. Oh, somebody's filling up here. Stop them, stop them. Will they be able to? They did. Okay, so I'm gonna help with the uh, damage control. The problem is that you are trading the easily, you know, more splattable weapon with not as much of a splattable bomb. You can't splat as much with this thing, but I can throw that bomb over there and or mess it up. Okay, I didn't get hit by that, but I'm gonna hit you and then go back to filling up turf. So interesting how this works. It's hard to keep your score high just because you don't have a crazy good bomb, but it's not impossible. 684 is not awful, especially if we got a couple splots along the way. And really, it was hard to cover up much turf if we kept them in their base the entire time. We definitely won, so that's a great start. The Splatter Shop Pro is something I like. I could even see if we can keep going like this, if I keep doing this well, I can see this going to ranked. I could bring this to ranked, probably enjoy it a lot. And I feel like we had a decent balanced team there. We got two arrow sprays, we have the Sprout Duelies, and then my uh, super splatter thing. So we're gonna be able to level up our shoes. I probably need to equip different clothing, even if I don't want to, even if I don't look as cool, it might be a good idea, just because I can level this stuff up, and even if I don't like what I get out of it, I can scrub it. So I think that's gonna be something we do probably next lobby, because I'm already joining another game. A little too late for it this time, but I do have to say, July is coming to a close, and July has been like one of my favorite months on YouTube yet, this July 2017, because there's just been a good game after a good game. We went into the month with Crash Bandicoot, we're still jamming out on Crash Bandicoot from time to time, you know, Splatoon 2, all the other games we've been doing, Metopia has been a blast the last couple of episodes that has, you know, been released of it. There's more games coming soon, and it's just, you guys are supporting all of it. There's nothing that really seems like nobody's all that too into it. Like everything people are enjoying for their own reasons and for different reasons, and that's just so much fun. So as a YouTuber who really likes it when people enjoy the videos, thank you for enjoying the videos. And there's been a lot of you know people commenting saying like, oh hey, I'm a new viewer, and that is so exciting. So thank you if you're new. Thank you if you're old too, or anywhere in between, if you're you know sort of an in the middle, not quite old, but not quite new. That's what I appreciate as well. I appreciate all of it, is what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and get this, oh boy. Let's throw this here and then back up. I think I might actually, never mind. I was gonna say maybe this is gonna be the weapon I can use to combat the jetpack, not quite. The thing is, is you just gotta stay out of their sight when they're in the jetpack or just be ready for them to have it and be on the upground, but that's hard to you know constantly forever stay on the upground. I'm gonna get over here and fill this up for sure. And that person, oh, they just spotted each other. So I'm gonna fill up that so that technically we get the win for it because if they both spotted each other it's all just about who covered what turf and seeing how i'm fixing that for him oh right here right here oh gotcha that was a good splat but then i got spotted by the charger so not that much of a trade 
because I didn't really stop that one person from covering much turf. Who's winning right now? It's actually pretty even still. So let me janitor some stuff up here. I'm so used to throwing bombs to just cover some extra ink, but I can't do that. It's really good that this thing has some good coverage because if not, it would actually sort of not be that great for turf war. I really am curious, that's why I wanna try this one on ranked, what it would be like when it's not a turf covering game mode, something like Rainmaker or something, where it's more focused towards splatting? That would be cool. Okay, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Uh, somebody needed help? They were like booyahing or something? I think they were teleporting in. Okay, get up here and I don't see too many enemies right now. I see one down here actually. Ooh, get you, get you, I'm out of ink, I'm out of ink. Problems, problems are happening if I'm out of ink. Okay, so that person's still over there. Why am I so dumb? <laughs> oh, I saw you over there for just a second. Throwing that bomb right there. Ah, uh, they're not there anymore. But they might pop up at any moment, so I just need to do this. That might be a decent one. Okay, you don't quite see me. Oh, and you're definitely somebody I wanna take out because you've taken me out before. Go like that, run, 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 run. Fill this up. Yeah, this is the rain The rain cloud there was certainly helping. Oh, you don't see me. You don't see me, but now you do, and my aim is awful. I'm running. I don't know how I've not gotten splatted. I have been in some awful situations in the last couple of moments. Uh, that didn't get anybody. Oh, your range is better than mine. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't wait to try that weapon out, too. But we're definitely winning this right now. Fill up whatever we can. Get a win from it if I can. Come on. Oh geez, oh geez, oh geez, I can't get him from there. That's the force field, that's the force field! Yeah, okay, I think we won that one. Unless somebody, you know, went in our back door, which they sort of did, but we definitely pushed farther than they did when it comes to going in their back door. And we won with a 20% lead. Very solid win so far. Two for zero, or I guess two for two. And we still got the lowest score again, so I don't know really how much of it's mean. It's really hard to tell. I guess we just gotta keep going and find out some other way. Once again, I just think that this weapon's good. Maybe it's not exactly good for turf war though. Let's exit so I can go ahead and build up some other pieces of armor though. So I changed my shirt, but I did not change my sunglasses because everything I have on my headpiece is actually maxed out the three items we have. So I guess next time I have the chance to, which maybe at the end of today's episode, I'll buy some extra headgear, even if I don't plan on liking it all that much, just so I can level stuff up. It seems like it's not good to just be wearing equipment that I already have maxed out, unless I'm playing ranked. That sort of seemed to be the idea. If I'm playing normal casual matches, I shouldn't be using what I think just looks nice or what I think you know might help me play the best, even though that might seem like an obvious thing. I wanna do whatever's gonna get me leveled up stuff. That way I can use those to improve my already really great stuff. You know, just keep going with that. Everything is happy. And that way I can use that really great stuff in ranked and then really well because I got really nice gear. Because the gear seems to matter, of course. If it didn't matter, we wouldn't have stuff like abilities. Oh man, I could have maybe gotten you if I didn't run out of ink there. That was all me though. Come on, darn it. I shouldn't have kept going downhill. That was a problem. If I stayed sort of like higher up, I think I would have been doing just fine there. But that was not the case because of that. So I gotta throw my bomb like out there. Maybe not gonna hit anybody. It is not gonna hit anybody. But in the meantime, fill up this turf. Let's try to get at least like 700 points this time because I've been like around the 600s and I don't like that all too much. Oh, you just run out of ink so fast. Ooh, you missed some. <laughs> Guess it doesn't matter all that much. Maybe I'm being a little bit nitpicky. Let's put this here. Yep, just like that. And maybe I should try to get a few splats here. There's some people to get up here that I would love to focus down because I don't think they quite see me. But now I've lost them. Up, oh, right in front of my face. <laughs> oh no, this might be our first loss. And this is once again a closer quartered map. So we'll get to see sort of the differences here. I need to fix the camera for sure though, because I am all kinds of messed up with that. So nobody's over there just yet. I wonder, does it find them even if they're in squid form hidden in the ink? I would have to assume so. That would be the big perk of the whole bomb. But it seems to be good for revealing people who are trying to sneak up on you, if you can handle that. Okay, see, I can go like that. You're in your bubble though, which does not make this all too much helpful. Um, but as long as I can get the upper ground on them, position it. Like the weapon guide itself said, have positioning and that works out pretty well for you. Okay, I just run out of ink so fast. I just need some fills. I need to fill up on my ink. Somebody got you though, so that's good. Oh, you don't see me though. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right there. <laughs> you were trying to hide. Not working, not happening. And the great thing is, since I do have such long range, I can fill up quite a lot without actually having to go out of my comfort zone here. So I'm not going in that bomb. I actually might just throw my own and then go for you guys. Oh, I see you. Got you. 
See, this is what I want. Once I get into this position, this is when things get really good. So I'm gonna throw this over here because it's gonna be able to cover turf we normally can't reach too easy. Oh, there goes my comfort zone. Oh, no. But they did what I, they were supposed to do, which was um, sneak up behind me. I just need to be more aware of that. Unfortunately, I wasn't, but I'm hoping that my superpower is gonna make up for my neglect. Get that, go like this and this, and then get up here, and then that. 10 seconds left. I think we got the win here. This will be our third win out of three. Nice, and I got splatted too. That's not good. I should have been able to do just fine there, but we're about to find out who won. Who won? The anticipation's always high. I think, yeah, looks like we won that one. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Yep, we could even see some marks on the top right of my rain cloud, so it did help in some ways. Nice, so I'm leveling up this polo. I, it does not look good on this character, but I'll take it. So we still got the lowest score of our team again. But if we keep winning, then what is it? Is it that I'm playing bad, but I'm getting lucky? Is it that I am contributing to the team in ways that of course don't show through the score? Maybe, but we got abilities for both of our new items. All right, I guess scrubbed items, newly scrubbed items. Well, at least one of them was scrubbed. The other one wasn't. No abilities, that's all I mean. <laughs> okay, so another round here should be good. Hopefully it works out. I'm low on battery, I keep getting nervous about that. I don't know when that battery's gonna die, but hopefully before this, I mean after this episode ends, let's not mispronounce, because then I might give myself bad luck. Ooh, let's get over here. I'm getting out there quick though, which is good. I wanna get on this platform as soon as possible though. Ooh, oh, there you are, there you are! You're gonna get me, aren't you? Darn, I almost got them. I feel like I was so super close there. And, oh. So they're gonna take the lead here, which is no ways the worst thing in the world. Especially since I can fill this stuff up. Once again, I'm not used to not having a splat-related bomb. Like, that's just really weird. But they are covering everything up. We're gonna have quite the underdog story here. But we got you, so I got my revenge on that person with their jetpack. Finally getting people with the jetpack, which is nice, because that sort of seems to be the bane of my existence most rounds. So this video is going out on a Friday, which means Splatoon 2 has been out for an entire week, which means I wanted to ask you guys a question, especially for those of you who may be now newer to Splatoon, uh, what is your favorite weapon and why? It'll give me some good ideas on what to showcase next, and also you know, give me some ideas on what you guys like, maybe pick up on that, maybe what weapons are worth trying. I gotta be careful about that. Um, I need to move, because you're gonna be chasing me for obvious reasons, and I just can't get out of this. Um, oh no, this could splat me, I gotta be careful. Um, let's get up here, I just need to fill up because it's so easy to lose, like you're cool with that kind of stuff. We gotta get up there. Oh wow, look at that range. That's where we can put the range to good use. Now I just gotta use it to take care of this bozo. Okay, you're not a bozo, that's mean of me to say. I need to move, I need to move. Oh, no, I could not get away. I should've just squitted right through it. Should've would've been what I, should've would've could've. That's all I can say. Should've would've could've. But hey, now we're alive again. We're sort of slowly bouncing back but not all that much. They had such a lead at the beginning, they really just might take the whole thing. Ooh. But everybody loves a comeback story, right? I mean, as long as it's the good guys coming back, and who's the good guys? Well, that's a matter of perspective. Let's get up here. And out of all the weapons I've tried so far, it's hard to say which one's my favorite. I think the hero shot has been fun just because of the novelty. I do like this weapon. Situations are good and bad for it though. I don't like this map with it as much as I did like the other map, especially since I keep running out of stink and ink. Ooh, get you if I can. Or you can just be up there because you're a total jerk. There we go, I got him at the least. I'm glad I can at least spot these dudes who are making things a bit miserable for me. Get you. And I just need to get control of this in the next 25 seconds. Most of them are splatted, which is good and bad. That means they're gonna be starting to pop up like crazy. I'm gonna run out of ink, so I gotta be careful. Somebody's booyahing, which is great, and I found. That's not what I wanted. Fill up, throw this like here, and then get up here. I almost forgot what color I was there for a moment. I was about to go hang out with that person who's on the other team. You don't see me behind you, and apparently that person walked right by you too. Oh man, we didn't win. I don't think we did, unless there was, ooh. Closer than I thought, but I still don't think we won. My rain cloud helped a little bit, but we were sort of close, 6%. Could've been better, could've been worse. First loss of the day. So I'm not too bummed. But hey, let's move on to the next one. That time I actually did get top splatter, which is something, and I didn't get the worst score that time. So maybe when I get the worst score, uh, that's when we win, for whatever reason. Let's try again, see if we can't do a little bit better. I'm glad that we are upgrading the abilities of our gear now, that's always good. 
And we are starting to slowly level up. At this point, like level zero or level one through 10 was so quick, but level 10 up is like such a grind. We've been doing a couple levels or a couple episodes now between 11 and 12, and it just takes forever to get there. And I don't think you gain any levels when you're doing stuff like Salmon Run. I can't remember to be honest. I don't think so, them. But <laughs> let's go. We got another full rack of people. Only one person below level 10. So I'm definitely getting to like a higher level of players, which is probably why I'm not doing as well also. But also much just because I'm awful. But I'm still C minus and ranked. I gotta do next episode probably ranked. Cause I need to, you know, build up my rank a little bit. But let's I keep on throwing out that bomb, expecting a different result. It's gonna take me a little while. That's sort of another thing, doing a new weapon every time, every episode, is that I get used to like certain things, like this bomb in the last episode it was rolling. Little things you get used to and then you gotta change it up. I don't like this situation too much. I shouldn't have thrown my bomb because that sort of threw me out of the loop when it comes to having ink. Right now I'm gonna go like that and then you don't quite see me, so I'm gonna try to get you but you were just sitting there and aiming. I probably should have gone for you first then because the other person was bringing up their superpower. I just approached that situation all wrong. And once again, that really is a lot about having good positioning. If I was in a good position for a lot of this, I wouldn't be having so many problems. Okay, Um. thanks. You don't quite see me from down here. The problem is that they might see me. Okay, go for you, go for you. There are more than one person here. And once again, as soon as I'm like, hey guys, our whole team shows up. It's the beat up zebra squad. That's what they are. Maybe, probably not. Being probably a little self-absorbed with that one. Let's get these guys. These little puddles right here. I'm, I'm treating them like real living things. These evil, evil puzzles. Puzzles, puddles. They're puzzles of puddles. Oh, got you. That is on the chase. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, so we're gonna run over this way. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I just gotta take a breath, pay attention, and then I have a better range than that person because I think they just have the uh, splatter shot. I'll throw the bomb there, not the bomb, but the rain cloud. Maybe not the best spot for it, but it will help us keep control of this whole hill, which would be good. Oh gosh, hey, I have that too, you know. You better be careful. Oh, no, 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 leave me alone, you bully, leave me alone. Okay, you're gonna plop down. Oh, but I still couldn't get you, Zelda. <laughs> That honestly looks really close to Zebra, and I thought that somebody was my imposter. I was like, uh-oh, they're out to get me. Not quite. We got one minute left to turn this around. We got our first loss last round. Let's not make it a loss streak. That one would be good. So let's turn this around as much as we can. Oh, man. But I definitely have been doing worse as of late. I gotta get you. But there's too many people to balance somebody. Do I have any teammates that can help me out here? I don't think so. This guy's on the chase, and whenever the jetpacks chase me, that probably means I'm gonna die, but somehow I didn't. I gotta get one more rain cloud out here. That would be really big. Oh, you don't quite see me. My aim is all kinds of off with this right now. Oh no, oh no. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Fill up on ink. That's gonna help. It's definitely gonna help. Is it gonna change everything? It's gonna change my entire life. Am I gonna be a change zebra? Probably not, but I gotta try, I gotta try. Get you, get you, get you, yes. Okay, okay, I know somebody's chasing me. I know someone's chasing me, but maybe it might be better just to ignore them and fill up as much ink as possible. Oh man, look at how much ink there is though. It's an insane amount. It's an insane amount. I don't know if there's too much I can do, but I'm really racking up my score towards the end here. Oh, did we win or did we lose? That is not up for me to choose. But we might have won. Yeah, we did with 6% above the competition. That was definitely all those last couple seconds. Getting those extra splats just squeezed in there really, really helped. I think like, yeah, four of those splats were right at the end. Crazy stuff, I love it. We're gonna go for one more round with this thing. I like it, but it definitely depends on the situation and me approaching the situation is also another big thing. My battery's depleted. Okay, maybe we should end the episode now. <laughs> Let's exit. Uh, I don't know if I can. It's gonna let, it's gonna time out then. <laughs> well, I'm out of luck because my battery's dead. We got like 20 something minutes into the video. That ain't too bad. But I guess that's where we're gonna finish it. Very cool weapon. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. That is, of course, the splat whatever. And I can't exit out of here. So we'll just finish the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Splatoon 2. I hope you enjoyed it. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Splatter Zebra so now you've watched it in the video and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.